So I recently asked a close peer of mine in music what his thoughts were about Pro Tools and how they could improve upon grabbing the attention and the interest of the music producer community. And he suggested a lot to me, but one that stood out the most was his desire to want to have a drag and drop feature in Pro Tools, just like he has in some of his other softwares that he uses. And it just dawned on me that so many producers just don't know about the capabilities Pro Tools has to offer for producers, which is why we're going to talk about today the drag and drop feature in Pro Tools. Let's jump in. So I have my production template pulled up here and let's just go right up to where we see window and we're going to work within the workspace window of Pro Tools. And where we see new workspace, we have default, sound base, and track presets. So let's go ahead and select sound base, which is where we're going to work with our drag and drop feature. Now just off looks alone, it's very basic. And I think what fuels a creative flow for a producer is really sometimes just what the interfacing looks like alone. And so I do think that Pro Tools can give this a facelift in terms of how it actually looks. And so we have a few things here. We can see within this folder, it tells us 949 results, which is all of these sounds, or we can actually just break down this folder. Let's go where we see melodic loops, which we'll be dragging into Pro Tools. And we can see here that all of our loops, 38 results are within this folder. We can also kind of toggle the different things we want to see on the screen. So we'll free up some space, select that. And the good thing about the drag and drop feature is that it does time stretch to your tempo within your session. And so all you have to do is turn on this metronome here and your sounds will begin playing to the tempo or auditioning to the tempo of the session. And once you drag it in, it will stretch to the tempo as well. And so let's turn this off for now and let's just listen to some of the loops that we have. Now we can see the tempo here is 105 but our session tempo is at 120. So let's turn on the metronome and take a listen again. And so to drag this sound into Pro Tools, we'll need to create a new track and we'll go to new stereo audio track, hit create. So we have our track created. Now all we have to do is take this loop, click and drag onto the track. And now let's take a listen. And it's locked right into the tempo of our session. Now let's move this back and let's change our session from 120 to 100. Now let's take a listen. And we see that this loop is still locked in at 120, although we change the session down to 100. So how do we lock it in after we've imported it and we want to change the tempo? So let's change our tempo back to 120. And now on our track, all we have to do is go down to this blue dot where we see time base selector and we select that and we see this metronome that says ticks. Now we're locked into our session. And so if we listen to 120, let's go down to 100. And now let's take a listen. We also see that the quality of the loop is also not diminished. It's maintained throughout the changes of the tempo, which is a great thing. And so that's one way to drag and drop by using the workspace window in Pro Tools. Now, even though I have this set to a hotkey, which is the letter I on my keyboard, and easily I can pull this up, I would prefer this to be off to the side somewhere where we can access it just like one of these windows to the left side of the screen on our edit window, something that is just a little bit more in and out of when we need to access dragging and dropping loops. This is something that FL Studio has always gotten right. And so I can see Pro Tools taking a page out of their book uh, to improve upon the production side of things. Another way that we can use a drag and drop feature within Pro Tools is not just dragging audio into the session, but also within the session. So let me show you what I mean. Let's pull up contact and I can actually drag this loop from the track And now we can control it from there. And for me, this is really great because Pro Tools did not have this at all for years. Pro Tools also has a virtual instrument called Groove Cell. And this offers a number of different pads or channels for us to drag and drop audio into Pro Tools and play it or use it as kind of like a drum sampler or just a sampler in general. And so what we can also do is take our audio track if we want it 
drag it right over onto one of these pads. So let's check out how we just drag and drop that onto Groove Cell. So here we go. So I just wanted to point out that Pro Tools has been working on some of these things that helps the production side, the producers really get busy in Pro Tools by utilizing these drag and drop features, something they can improve on in the future as well, but nonetheless is in there. And so I hope this video was helpful in understanding where Pro Tools is going. And if you like this video, go ahead and drop a like, leave a comment for your boy, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace.